Oh God, this guy just wanted a feature, bro. That is really genuinely sad, bro. You And I said this yesterday, you have a sad life, bro. You literally ran up on another rapper, sucking young boy. Mama Chopper reacts to NLE's. Oh shit, I wanna see this. NLE Chopper's mom, who I actually met in the studio, explains this shit, hold on. What's up, y'all? So this is Mama Chopper here. Oh shit, okay. Back with another reaction for y'all. Okay, okay, I see you. Damn. Go crazy. We're gonna react to the incident that happened today uh, at the airport with NLE Chopper and a supposed to be fan slash, so they say NBA Youngboy fan, which was not really what happened. But let's jump on into the video and see what's going on. Talk to me, Mama Chopper. We're going to stop right here. All right, so first thing first, fans, you, you got to stop running up in folk face. Uh -huh. Because everybody is not, everybody's not friendly as you think they are, number one. Number two, a person should be able to go to the restroom without it being you jumping into an altercation once you come out the restroom. 100%. So to me, him and his accomplice really had something set up because there's nobody in the rental car place, right? And maybe 10 people at the most. So y'all hiding off to the side trying to press somebody coming out. So I have ADHD. Please nobody take offense. I genuinely like I have really bad ADHD. We standing there waiting on him to come out the restroom. Right? So as he's walking out, of course he has on earphones. He's talking or listening to music. And he has his hood on his head. So if you're saying something, he don't know you're talking to him because he's minding his own damn business like most rappers or entertainers do on a regular basis. Right. Mind their own business because ain't nobody think about that. So as you're walking, you jump out of nowhere like you were a fucking frog in a tree or a lizard. <laughs> and you jump out and you in somebody's face with a phone. Hey, and if they don't hear you and they take their thing out, like, what, like what's going on? Like, what's up? So you're upset because he didn't hear you the first time that you jumped out of nowhere from behind a wall. To come and have a conversation, which nobody's paying you any attention. So of course you're upset. <laughs> so then you hell about all oh, you scared, such and such, and you you will start the initial attack because you jumping at somebody. So if that's a threat. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna defend myself, right? Right. So if I defend myself and I hit you back, but of course, we'll see the rest of the video. So mind you, you go on the phone. Oh yeah, yeah. I just got into a fight with each other. I just knocked him out. Stop the cap. Right. Where you knocking him out at? Number one, you never touched him, as the video shows. Oh God. Number two. He slipped because he got on slides by ducking from you when you swung and you missed. You missed True. Him. On God. Mm -hmm. Hey, W mama on God. Hey, talk your shit, mama chopper. He didn't miss. He landed. But my whole point is this. Y'all gonna get enough of running up on folks because rappers and entertainers and everybody's tired. Y'all doing too much. If they got on earphones, if they got on earplugs, if they busy, like y'all gotta be able to respect the place. Respect the place, respect their space. Period. Everybody ain't friend like that. Everybody, you don't know what these folks be going through when they when you see them coming to the airport. They're not entitled to be your friend. They're not your friend, they don't even know you. But then again, to turn around the place, y'all need to stop the cap and stop trying to throw NBA young boy and him in the same category. They don't have no beef. They ain't got no issues. None of it. Stop bringing that shit out because everybody's tired of it. That's not the case. You start stuff, you start beef that, that has that has no relevance. They don't. They do not. Absolutely, do not have an issue with one or the other. Leave that shit alone. Point blank. Period. Y'all took something that y'all saw from the internet and y'all ran with it. Now everybody want to post. Oh, he, it's an NBA young boy fan. He's an NBA young boy fan. Why the fuck is you out here hollering about some? Oh, I was trying to, I was trying to just get, I was just trying to get a, a feature. That ain't how you get no feature, man. That ain't how you run no business. Right. That ain't what you do. That ain't, that ain't business related. You don't do that shit. Run up on somebody in the airport, then you mad because you feel like you got dissed. So on God, this guy just wanted a feature, bro. That is really genuinely sad, bro. You and I said this yesterday. You have a sad life, bro. You literally ran up on another rapper, dick sucking young boy, to try to get a feature from Annalie Chapa. That is really bad, bro. You are a, have a horrible life, bro. You are not loved. You should have been swallowed. Genuinely, I mean that from the bottom of my heart. In GTA Five, of course. Um, and yeah, bro. I mean, you 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 just took an L in a lot of ways, bro. You dick sucked a rapper. You got you missed a punch on a fucking rapper one feet away from you in slides. Okay, you couldn't land a fucking punch, bro. You he was in slides. He slipped. You fucking suck. Um, and you're just. I don't know, bro. Like, you're really, really down bad, bro. Your life really must suck, bro. You're going to see this clip. I know you are. Come try to find me and do this shit to me. On God, my security guard is slapping the fuck out of you, bro.
knocking you out. You're going to go to sleep. And nobody's going to care. You know why? Because nobody loves you. So, and I'll record a video and send it to Chapa. So, come, come try to find me, please. What's, what the Not young boy. Young boy is this guy. This guy. Actual face was. You feel like you got this, so your balls got big. And your balls got big, and you want to hop on social media saying, oh, I got Because the camera's on, exactly. There's no camera on. He's not doing that, bro. There's no such thing as Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. He's not doing that, bro. He's not doing that. Straight up. <laughs> Straight up. I mean, come on. You want clout. Don't get clout off that one. That one out of his own business. Right. Like, seriously. So now you talking about he's scared. I asked you mad time. Listen, you knocking him out. You saying here you knocking out. What got knocked out was your phone. Stop capping. Your phone got knocked out. The man took the thing y'all clearly see took that ear like what? What you talking about? Right. He so ain't listening listen to music. Rappers, entertainers, and everybody tired y'all trying to come at them on some clout shit when y'all know damn well that ain't what the time it is. Stop doing them like that because y'all gonna cost the wrong one and the wrong one gonna let y'all ass know what time it is. Exactly. And the first thing y'all wanna do is claim victim so you can go file a lawsuit so you are gonna try to get some money. Or right. You try to go get famous. Right. That's what y'all do all the time. Stop that shit because it ain't cute. Then I joined your live today. I joined your live today because you knew you was wrong. All that begging and pleading you did, you ain't say all that. You ain't tell them how you were begging and pleading with me in the airport. Like, come on now. You were begging his mom for a feature? Yo, you, your life sucks, bro. You suck. You really are a bitch, bro. You went to his mom for a feature, bro. You didn't even go to him direct. You went to his mom? And then she said no or some shit, and you got mad and tried to press him. That is very bad, bro. Stop all that stuff. Y'all didn't claim none of that. No, y'all took something that y'all saw off of social media with NBA on board and ran with it. Everybody know that you ran with it. Shit ain't true. Ain't had shit to do. You want to see how easy it is to get an NBA uh, a Channel Lee Chopper feature? I'm gonna call Anna Lee right now. On God, if I say yo, I'm making a song, he'll get on it. How much you want to lock? Yeah, right now, ready? Watch. He's watching, chat. I know he's gonna watch. If he picks up the fucking phone. Hey. What's going on? I'm just saying, bro, I'm watching this shit, and I, I genuinely respect you, and you he didn't let a punch on you, and he's a bitch, and I'm just letting you know, I would slide for you, bro. Real shit, I would slide for you. <laughs> Run and hide somewhere, bro. No, no, I'm, I'm being dead ass. Hey, I have a question though. Um, if I would ever make music, you'd get on my song, right? Yeah, I'm focused for sure. Cool, I, I know you would, bro. I was proving a point. I love you, man. I hope you're good. I, I, if you ever want to talk, I'm here. But good shit on that. You, 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 you made him. I'm just saying, you made him look like a bitch, and and, and good shit. I'm just saying, you made him look like a bitch. Yeah. Hell yeah! All right, chop. Come on, bro. That shit. Okay. Sorry, yeah, he's from Memphis, so you know what I'm saying? Some chubs, you know what I'm saying, chat? But anyway, bro, I told you, bro. So anyways, all right, so look, as I was saying, bro, um, again, uh, hold on, let, let, let's just let it Mama Choppa finish this shit. You NBA young boy, it had nothing to do with no NBA young boy fan, none of it. You took something off social media and you ran with it, point blank period. And right. y'all gotta realize, too, all these other people, y'all gotta realize, social media is for entertainment purposes only. Oh, yeah, 100%. Entertainment purposes only. Right. These people are here to entertain you with false information. So let's run this back through. And he's ugly as fuck, bro. He looks like a rat. Bro, you're so ugly, bro. Like, I just want to fucking punch you, bro. I want to beat the fuck out. Man. Now, he said I popped him and I knocked him out. <laughs> Number one clout chase. You popped him and knocked him out where? You can barely get that out your mouth. <laughs> you never touch him. You never hit him. None of it. He slipped on his own. When you swing it, and you still miss. But at the end of the day, my whole point is stop messing with these folks. Wherever you see them at, y'all do it to Kanye, y'all do it to the baby, y'all do it to Finale Chopper, y'all gonna cross the wrong person. Oh God! Because everybody tired of y'all. Wait, what did the baby do again? He didn't kill someone, you idiots. Um. November 5th, North Carolina. Oh, yeah, there was.
situation. Oh yeah. It was uh, at a nightclub. Mm. Where uh, I guess someone ran up on you. Yeah, they yeah they hit my I mean been this a club not this because I mean I don't like trying to try to um, play tough guy. Well, but, right. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. Like I just want to know why, why did he do it? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, chat. <clears throat> why did he even? What what happened though? Okay guys, so check this out. The baby was in a North Carolina courtroom on Thursday, June 27th, where he was sentenced for his involvement in a fatal 2018 shooting. But according to the Charlotte Observer, prosecutors had decided not to pursue was it charges against the burgeoning rap star. Mecklenburg District Attorney's Office spokeswoman Megan. Oh! They pulled out a gun on the baby and his, and his children? A duh! Obviously, chat. Y'all made it seem like, bro, shut up, chat. I knew that. I'm doing it. They tied it. He didn't do anything wrong. <clears throat> it's just like, it's not cute. Everyone knows, bro. When you're with your kids, your children, bro. Don't fuck with when it comes around with your kids, bro. You don't fuck with somebody's kids, bro. That's a whole different level of sickness, bro. I swear to God. It's cute. Parents, mamas, dads, all that. Tired of burying their kids. Oh, bullshit. This right here. Plain, plain, prime example of bullshit. For no reason. Mother can't even take a shit in peace. And come out the restroom or whatever he was doing to walk down. When that child come to him over some dumb shit. Let that shit go, man. For real. Because mm -hmm. I'm telling you, you're going to come across the wrong one. That's all I like to say. You're going to come across the wrong one. Right, I agree. So, at the end of the day, everybody, I'm going to let y'all know, it has shit to do with NBA young boy. They just threw that shit up in there because they seen a post on social media. Number two, he never touched him. So, how could you knock somebody out? Number three, you kill out chasing in an airport where nobody else is up in there but you and your little girl or whoever it was that y'all plotting because y'all jumped out from behind. One of the little spaces inside the airport while we trying to get luggage and shit together to leave the fucking airport. Get yourself together. Find yourself something else to do. If you want to be famous that bad, work on your skills. Cause this right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Why y'all thinking that y'all doing something? You ain't doing nothing but starting a bullshit to make yourself look even stupider than you are now. That's basically what you did. All right, chat. Go. Fine, bro. Next. Fine. Somebody said you're knocking out not knowing it was another video where okay. everybody can see that you're lying because you never touched him. Fine, bro. Fine. 